Today we're going to be looking at tryhackme.com as a great resource that you can use when starting your cybersecurity journey. Hey everybody, welcome to Studio Sec. Thank you so much for watching. Like this video if it's helpful. Comment down below if you use Try Hack Me or if this interests you. And subscribe for more content. We will be having more Try Hack Me content here in the future. And we actually already started. Now first, a brief description on what Try Hack Me is. Try Hack Me is a free resource that you can find online, but they also have a VIP version, which is paid. Uh, but they have all kinds of modules and training resources that you can use everything from fundamental concepts to different skills that are broken down like web security. And this is all information that can be super helpful not only as you start your cybersecurity career, but even as you continue through to getting your OSCP. This is so helpful, in fact, that I've started using it as, as I start prepping for the OSCP. You can actually find those videos on this channel. We've already gotten started recording different offensive security content. Let's get into this video. So whenever you start off, you'll have this dashboard, and this dashboard is gonna show you different courses that you've recently enrolled in, as well as all kinds of other cool things. So it'll have the number of questions you've answered recently. You get like a really cool streak that will get you certain badges. It'll show you your percentage of completion towards a specific learning path, and I'll show you what this particular learning path is here in a moment. If we scroll down, it'll show different rooms that have just been released, and we'll kind of go through what those rooms are. You actually can rank up uh, based on your progress, and you can actually get friends. So if you wanna be my friend on Try Hack Me, comment down below, let's be friends on Try Hack Me. Let's push each other for success. Now, if we jump over here to the Learn tab, Here's just an overview. So we get the overview, we get all rooms, and then we get series. Now, there are five different learning paths to start off with, right? You get cyber defense, complete beginner, offensive pen testing, CompTIA pen test plus, and web fundamentals. Now, if you're starting off in cybersecurity, I highly recommend looking into complete beginner. And I also recommend looking into cyber defense because both of these are actually gonna be super helpful, especially if you're trying to go the offensive route with offensive pen testing and pen test plus. It will also help to go through web fundamentals and we'll be going through each one of these on this channel in the future. Right now we are currently looking into offensive pen testing. Now if we scroll down here to the modules, here is where we start to see a complete breakdown in each different skill, right? So we have Linux fundamentals, networking fundamentals, web hacking, and more. There's all kinds of really awesome uh, modules in here that we can go through. For instance, I just started looking into web hacking fundamentals because I found out that they had a burp room. And here it is. It's, uh, you know, you get like the web fundamentals which teach you how the, you know, how web pages work. Uh, and then you get Burp Suite. And then there's OWASP, uploading vulnerabilities. And then there's even CTFs at the end of each one. Of course, for those of you Rick and Morty fans out there, we got a Pickle Rick CTF. How awesome is that? I'm Pickle Rick! So you just gotta, so try these out. These are super educational. They'll not only give you a conceptual overview, but they'll give you some real hands-on experience as you go. Now, of course, if we zoom out to all rooms, you can actually see different categorizing or different categories that we can go through. So for instance, let's look at Linux rooms. We'll see Linux fundamentals part one through three, Pickle Rick, which is the CTF we just saw, and much, much more. We got six different available pages that are related to Linux. And all of these might be tied in to, to some of these learning paths. They might also tie into Linux fundamentals. And of course, if we check out what series exists, we got different, it'll show you the different levels of difficulty you can enroll and it will effectively gamify your educational journey with these different tools and concepts, which is super, super cool. Those of you that enjoy video games out there, I certainly do. This is a great way to learn because it, it makes it a game. You know, it's, it's a challenge. It's something that really engages you and it helps you learn along the way. And that is, those are tools and resources and skills that you can take into your career. Now over here, we're gonna look at leaderboards. And yes, there are leaderboards here. So if we look here, zero day, uh, here is at the very top. 
Let's see who else is here. If you are on this leaderboard, let me know. I'd love to get your experience with Try Hack Me and just kind of see if I can get some tips from you, not only for myself, but also for others that are watching this video on how to be effective and make the most out of this platform. Now these are your general rankings, but if we look at King of the Hill, and we're gonna talk about King of the Hill here in a minute, we get a different set of rankings. So what is King of the Hill? It is literally attacking and defending a box. So we're gonna read the about section. King of the Hill is a competitive hacking game where you play against 10 other hackers to compromise a machine and then patch its vulnerabilities to stop other players from also gaining access. The longer you maintain your access, the more points you get. How sick is that? You get to compete against other people. You get to combine your offensive security skills and your defensive security skills. And those are things you can use at work. Now, if we check out this other tabs, we got obviously we got docs, vouchers, develop rooms. You can create a room if you would like. Uh, let's look into documentation. We got all kinds of cool stuff here. So that is Try Hack Me. Comment down below if you are already using Try Hack Me as a resource. Uh, I'd love to connect with you on here and, and become uh, Try Hack Me friends. Yay, friends. And if you're interested, I will be posting more content. We've actually already posted Blue, the offensive security walkthrough room, and we'll be posting more and more here in the very near future. So with that, like this video if it was helpful, comment down below with your thoughts and subscribe for more content. Thank you.